It's been about 20 minutes. We'll be here for about an hour fighting this fish probably. What's up guys, Ryan Myers here. Today's mission, a giant ahi. I know they've been out here, been getting my reports from my buddy here, Rowan, and brought him out here today to teach <laughs> us how to fish. If you've been following this channel, you know fishing is not exactly my specialty, especially the bigger the fish get. So Rowan here is gonna teach us how to kind of catch some live bait and then deploy them out here for hopefully a monster Aki. They've been biting here. We got one the other day. We actually shot that thing at night. So we're gonna try and catch one now. Just need one. That's all we need. One bait, one fish, and we're good to go. We're out of here. Step one, catching bait. We're just gonna need a better rod and reel, catching bait. First explosion that I just saw back there. Guys, this is gonna turn on. Sun's gonna go down, and it's gonna explode. There's so much bait I can see right here under the water. Yeah. Oh God, you got me in the prop, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got you in the prop. I got myself in the prop. Uh, Somebody got it in the props. <laughs> We're not gonna put no names here. There she is. Good. We're good. We've been trying to catch bait for like the last hour, but the tunas are exploding all around us. I mean, I'm talking 70, 80, 90 pounders just exploding out of the water. We caught exactly one bait. It's our lucky bait. Now I know he's gonna get nailed, but we're still trying to get, get a couple more. Sun's still going down. I know it's just gonna keep lighting up. I hooked one on the jig, lost him. We Your drag was too tight. My drag was too tight according to my, my professional guide who has uh, <gasps> caught Zero one experience. bait and got tangled up in my prop. So <laughs> we tried dragging the top water a little bit. No, no bites on him. But guys, it's gonna it's gonna come alive here in the next hour. It's gonna come alive. Yeah, we're putting out our one bait right now. Guys, they have officially come up. It is going crazy. We're dragging him real slow, idle con speed. He's gonna get nailed. There is no world where this bait does not get nailed. Now, whether we'll land him, whether he'll stick, anything could happen. But guys, these are giant fish coming out of the water all around us. It's only gonna get better. So explain to me what you're doing there holding the line. I'm trying to see if your bait is still gonna be alive. And better. whenever they bite it, you just wanna let it go. Let it swallow it. As soon as they bite it, let it swallow it. Let your drop back go. And hopefully after that, it'll come tight. So it's supposed to go in the real world. What do you think, Britt? We getting one? We're getting one. But maybe not today. <laughs> <laughs> We just checked our bait. He's still there, but he has not performed yet. They are still coming out all around us, guys. All around us. 50 pounders, 80 pounders. Oh my god! Oh my god! This goes where your bait was. Did you see what they're trying to eat on the surface though? I think no. they're like flying fish. I wonder if it's small squids and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a big one. There, look, right there, all, there they are. Them. Right up against the buoy. Just go right on the inside of the buoy. The inside? Yeah. They kind of angled it. So. I would do horrible things for a mask in my gun right now. Put the wiggle wiggle blast off. What? Wiggle wiggle blast off. It was wiggle wiggle and they blast off. <laughs> wiggle wiggle blast off, let's see it. You don't think you're down? You're after you guys. I might be wrapped. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back to the point. Yeah, it's spin me hard, it's spinning hard, spinning hard, spinning hard, spinning hard. You want me to go around this, this way? Counterclockwise? Yeah. Hold it. Go straight back to where you got go. <laughs> so hard to see at night. I know. Yeah, we're around. Oh, he's still on there, though. Yeah. No, he's on, but we're around. Yeah, we're around. Big. Yeah, we're up there on the net. I can't see you. Yeah. It just scares me. Okay. Oh, we're around. Run that side. 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 Reverse? Yeah, reverse. You gotta go this way. Fuck. You gone? No, he's still on there. You see how the net is dragging with us? Yeah. Yeah, we it all on the net. You're breaking all on the net. Yeah. 
Well, the current's going backwards. So it's possible that it straightens up. If we pull it this way. It's only, it's not like wrapped, it's just overlapped one way, you know? Now it's stuck on. Ah, we were so close! That'll be done, man. All you can do is fight him. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. See what happens. I just feel the net around me. Yeah. I can't put more pressure. If you want to go in reverse, though, just to kind of keep me with it. I got serious drama there. We had it wrapped around the net, but it's off. It's off. Rowan's got it now. This could be a while. This could be a while, but this is a real fish. And I think it's a nice one. Nice one. I mean, I've whipped 50 pounders with this thing pretty easy. No, we're drifting away from the blue now. Yeah, we're away from it, yeah. He's like pretty straight down right now. Oh, he's straight up and down. Yeah. Don't deserve this one. We got lucky. You want us to help? You need a break? Yeah, somebody want to fight it? Easy, easy. Okay. Like, like, controlled and then... <laughs> Why does it look so much easier when you're doing it? <laughs> it's a proper fish. I don't know. I mean, we were seeing those 60, 80, 90s coming out of the water. I'm assuming we got something like that. It's been about 20 minutes. We'll be here for about an hour fighting this fish, probably. I'm right. already dead, though. I'm already pooped. She's not even tired, bro. That's a big freaking fish. Oh my god. I know. Get her! Get it out. 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 I just broke it. Oh my god. No. Yeah. No. Oh my god. Holy oh, crap. crap. Look at the swag. Oh my god. Bro, he's 80 pounds. He's 70, 80 pounds. 80 pounds. 70, 80 pounds. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There she is. Thank you, fish. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Thank you, fish. Thank you. Bro, in. <laughs> The man, I was like, Rowan, let's go off, let's go offshore, teach me how to live bait. Maybe we catch one ahi. Look at that. Beautiful. I do not believe it. Unbelievable gaff job. We got lucky so many times with this fish. From wrapped around the net to that that gaff job to the having the light little rod. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. So the half an hour on the dot to bring it in. Guys, I absolutely do not believe that that worked. Unbelievable. To come out here with that mission, to look for that big ahi, to have Rowan teach us how to fish specifically for ahi with live bait, to get those couple three live baits and then turn that third one into this beautiful 70 plus pound ahi. We're gonna be able to take this thing back, feed a ton of people, turn it into all those dishes that like we always talk about with ahi, but we never quite have enough ahi. It is so special to get one of these at home with all of our friends and family around. I mean, normally when I see a fish like this, I'm some far off country where I can't really do anything. I can't really utilize it to its fullest. So to get one right here and be able to pass it out and share with our friends and family, like so many people give me ahi all the time because I didn't know how to catch them, but now I do. Thank you so much to Rowan. Unbelievable. Guys, we're gonna put this thing on some ice, race back to shore, brine it, find a cooler big enough for it, which I don't have, and uh, we'll see you guys <laughs> back there. I swear, this is one of those fish that gets bigger and bigger and bigger every time I see it. Check this thing out. Woo! Look at that. One doza. Check that out guys, circle hook, 50 pound line, light little circle, right where you're supposed to be. You ever caught such a nice fish in such a shitty boat? Um, no, <laughs> honestly no. That was a first for everything guys, it was, it was out there. Stoked! Was okay, out there. Rowan, now you're gonna teach me how to cut this thing, huh? Mm -hmm. This is just, just life lesson after life lesson after life lesson from Rowan.
Look at that. No burn, nothing. I was worried about it, you know, fighting so long. Brother, you didn't leave me much. I didn't leave you much in there? No, you didn't leave me much to eat. <laughs> um. Oh my God. That is some of the best ahi ever. Mmm. It's perfect. Oh my God. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Tastes like tuna. Grab that. After they, after you told the world I'm veggie. <laughs> wow. Right? Yeah, really good. You saw that whole process. We went out, we killed it. Crazy. Him, died. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now we're going to eat cold. this for weeks and share it with so and many people. And then you're going to dry it and make it Oh, we're going to do crazy things with this one. We're going to do crazy things with this one. Let's keep cutting it. I let that thing cure for like 12 days. We're gonna open this bag and check out and see how we did. How crazy does that look? They feel nice and firm. They smell amazing. All that paprika and all those spices kind of seeped on into them. And don't forget this tuna is completely raw, but is like 20 something days old now. So I'm gonna rinse off all this seasoning and then we're gonna see what we're left with. How crazy does that look? Nice, firm to the touch, no fishy smell at all. Again, 20 something days old this tuna is. So now comes the magic. What we're putting these things in are these Umai charcuterie bags. So these bags are designed as kind of like, it's almost like a vacuum seal bag, but it's got like a, like a membrane so that the moisture all leaves. So it's like a way to dry age something for a really long time in your regular fridge. So I did it one time with meat and it came out freaking incredible. We made a bunch of pork back straps and, and axis deer and all kinds of cool stuff. But this is my first time trying it with fish. So I'm super stoked to throw this in the fridge. I'm gonna vacuum seal this up and then we're gonna come back and visit it in like 12 days. Five fish ready to be dried. We're gonna use these little vac mouse strips. No, kitty, these are not for you. This has been cured. So I'm gonna use these little vac mouse strips. They're called, you put them up here in, get out of here. You put them right here in the middle, up at the front and you seal right over top of them. Just like that guys, easy peasy, got five loins of tuna ready and to eat in the coming weeks. But first I'm gonna put these on a rack in the fridge. So some kind of like, you know, grate that lets air circulate all around them. And I'm gonna come back and check on them in the like, probably come back in about two weeks and look at them, eat the first one there and then keep going as there and I'll update you guys along the way. Okay guys, so I did a terrible job of updating you, but it has now been 48 days since we caught this tuna and it has never been frozen. So we cured it and then we put it in these bags and now I'm gonna cut this thing open and the cats know what is going on. Cats, you don't get the dried tuna. We talked about this. Check this out. Guys, these bags are freaking magical. How, what other way can you preserve a tuna like this? I'm gonna chop this up, but we're gonna see what we got. This is by far way longer than anybody recommended. Check that out. It was not the best cut job. It is like nothing else I've ever had. <laughs> Guys, this is such an unbelievably special way to be able to continue enjoying your tuna for, for weeks, months after. I mean, normally I would have had to eat this whole thing. I would have had to give it all away. But instead, 40, 48 days later, it's like a prosciutto or like a ham or I don't know. It's ridiculous. Those Umai bags truly change the game for preserving fish at a sashimi grade quality. 
48 days later. Crazy. Guys, thank you so much for watching that unbelievable tuna catch. I'm still so pumped on that. Check out some merch. It's awesome. I promise it doesn't come with this much cat fur on it. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.